Hi, Ethan. Hi. Wanna watch me play some Blood Bowl? Yeah. Well, tough. I'm not playing. It's the Goon Bowl Finals. Ugh. Horrible news. I don't want to watch these guys play. Yeah, they're not me. Nah. It's actually. How do I it's... know who I want to win? I don't know, but I've. I, I mean, it's Furl's uh, lesser team called. Uh, not what's its face, but. Damn it! This is unprofessional. <laughs> Jersey lizards. Yes, thank you very much. The Jersey lizards versus uh, inevitable long shots orc team uh, called Forever Friends, which I'm actually kind of surprised that no one else already has as a team name on Cyanide. Ooh, that that's not really how you want to start a final with a blitz. No, no. Well, it's, it's how one of the teams wants to start. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Now this this is going to be a one-off, uh, one hour and sixteen minute long video. So I hope everyone brought their tea, popcorn, pop, cola, whatever you use to pass the time while you're listening to me and Ethan, because this might take a while. Um, and I haven't edited this video. Ferl did for us, which was very nice of him, um, because it left me to do other stuff, like edit my own videos. Maybe we should, before <laughs> the game has gone on for too long, we should probably go over the different teams. Do you want to start with the Orc team, Ethan? Yeah, they're, they're pretty good. They're, they're, they're not as high team rating as the changes and the videos um, they've been in and the teams yeah. they've been facing. But they're pretty solid. We've got, we've got a Blitzer with Frenzy. That is nice. Uh, that would be number five. Yeah. Who, who's actually just blitzed. Which kind of makes sense since the orcs are trying to get the ball. I don't think they have enough speed to get anywhere, anyone close enough though. No. Doubtful. But they... I mean, it's good for them. Uh, knocking down a few of the Sauruses means the skinks won't be as protected. Um... Which is good. What else do the orcs have? Um, I'm sure they have some kind of strategy because I know uh, Furl's lizards ha had a higher um, team rating, so they got a whole bunch of, in of inducements. Don't know. I'm, I'm, look I'm looking at this thing you gave me that a man <laughs> sent you, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> uh. It, yes. is, it says that he's basically going for the classic orc strategy of not being a bad team. Yeah, well, which is a pretty good orc strategy. Yeah. Uh, don't fuck up, and uh, you'll probably do well. Yeah. Um, which is, um, it's not a, a tactic a tactic I personally use very much because I tend to fuck up. And also use bad teams. <laughs> well, that's not really my fault. <laughs> I, I, I take, uh, I take no responsibility for it, neither team selection nor skill choices. Well, that's fair. Yeah, but uh, the listed men have actually started their first turn, and they. Uh, I do know that Furl uh, did by. Well, we should go over his team as well. I think um, it's a pretty. Well, you've played a lot of lizards, uh, so you would know if having blanche on all the sauruses is orthodox or unorthodox or it, whatever. It, it's definitely what you do if you can get the doubles. Uh, why do you want dodge though? Oh, oh because you're going to get break tackle later. Is that is that the is that the plan? Like yeah. blodge and then break tackle. Yeah. You can get break tackle whenever, and that's good, but dodge stops you falling down, and every roll's always nice. Yeah, it's it's actually kind of uh, <laughs> ironic that the one, let's see, I think, no, well, uh, Furl has dodge on three of his sauruses, and the one that actually has the most increases, which would be number four, Tantric, he doesn't have dodge. But uh, he does have block, diving, tackle, mighty blow. What yeah. do you say about that, Ethan? Is that good? Mighty blow is really good. Block's well, really good. Diving, diving, tackle. Well, 
sometimes they get sleepy and have to lie down. <laughs> but no, <laughs> diving tackle is it's really good when it works. And, <laughs> and people like to dodge away from Saurus because they're big and strong. Yeah, that's true. And it, um, you can keep a guy there. Mm. And uh, for also boasts, uh, he did buy a star player. He actually yeah. spent a bunch of his own money, which isn't really surprising. It's the final, so you, if you got the money, why not spend it? There's no reason to like save your team for, for the next game. And he bought uh, silly slip. Billy. Yes, silly yes, Billy, exactly. the silly Billy. <laughs> which is another Saurus with loner block guard and stand firm. Oh, and grab. And grab. Um, which seems pretty decent. Yeah. Uh, he's uh, he, it's actually not a Saurus Saurus because it's got seven strength. Seven movement. Sorry. He's so he's one he's one faster, and then he's got skills that make him really tough. Yeah. Um, seems like the um, Lizardmen ha have uh, managed to uh, to stop the Orc, well, offense or defense in this case, but they seem to ha have the pitch pretty well covered. Yeah. It's, uh, they're Orcs, which means they're not that scared of the Sauruses, but still, I mean, he, um, inevitable, uh, inevitable, long shot only has four um, black orcs compared yeah. to uh, six like orcs. Six orcs plus a uh, Coxigo, yeah, and a star player. Yeah, I mean, I think if I if I haven't lost a skink somewhere on the pitch, uh, Furl only has three skinks on the pitch. That's a lot of strength for or and above. Yeah, and the orcs does have more guard. Uh, they do have, um, they've got two guys with guard, uh, one blitzer and one black orc, and they do have a blitzer with an agility increase, uh, which is, considering the teams, it's really good. Uh, yeah. I mean, agil having high agility when facing a team that has average agility at best, which Blizzard men, I, I would argue that they are kind of even worse at it because the only ones that can actually pick up the ball are the skinks. Yep. And does he have much tackle? He's got two tackle, which isn't not really that scary. Yeah. And I'm I would argue that the only blitzer the skinks, skinks have to worry a bit more about rather than like just go on with their business and worry about everyone would be number five, yeah. uh, more grim. Which has uh, mighty blow as well. Yeah, mighty blow and tackle, which combined with stunty and dodge, <laughs> it's like ah, uh, you if you got stunty and dodge, you don't want to meet tackle, <laughs> tackle and mighty blow. No. Um, since stunty means you add, uh, you get a plus one, I think, to the um, not the arm, ah, not the armor roll, but the injury roll. Afterwards. Yeah. So they're. The reason to splurge, or well, or the other oh, yeah, that's not good. Double skulls, double skulls, double skulls are never good. At least he uh, he has managed to get um, furl to use um, rerolls. No, actually, yes. Um, two rerolls so far. Which can, and now the uh, turn counter is confusing me since it's the. Uh, they, they, they've used all a, a reroll each turn so far. Yeah. And as lizardmen, yeah, sort of want to keep them for when you're doing something cool. Because you need all the help you can get, not just punching. Especially when you've got as big a strength advantage as he's got. Yeah. Oh, uh, actually, you know why they they're missing rerolls? Because I was looking up at the turn mark being it's the same. Ooh, injury! Damn it! I'm 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 looking too much at all the other stuff I've got. Oh uh, well, that's not a, that's not a nice. Reroll. 
no, bad, badly hurt, and then uh, a niggling. It's I've seen this tactic a lot, or well, at least I've, people have talked about it a lot, and I I do get it in the sense that if you if you apothecary someone and you get a badly hurt, that means they get come back the next drive. Yeah. So the thinking is, uh, I like this guy. It's the finals. I want to win. I don't want to have him knocked out and be useful. I'm going to apothecary him, especially when the first result was uh, badly hurt already. So it was uh, it was more for inevitable uh, long shot. I think a question of do I want to keep this guy in for the next drive or do I want to leave him out? And yeah. that was uh, uh, I'm uncertain, but I think that that was number. Uh, no, that's not number five. That was. No, it was, but num it was number eight. Is one of his guards, so, and and he needs all the guard he can get. Yeah, uh, block guard blitzer. Uh, it's one of those guys that can actually carry the ball and be useful. Um, he, yeah, it's it's pretty vital for his uh, his strategy of not fucking up to actually to keep him on the on the pitch. Which he failed miserably with, but he's going to be back next round. Yeah, he's well, next uh, yeah, he's drive. So he's back. Have another go. They're... Orcs haven't managed to do that much, though, they've, so far. They've been kept in both sides, like both yeah. wide zones by some Saurus and the Which is... and now it looks like the lizards are going to make a break down the middle. Yeah, we'll see. Would you make a break, though? I mean, you've got you've got eight players with strength four, and you you've knocked out one of his guard pieces. You you just wait. L L Skinks can score really quickly. Yeah. Because they're so fast. So, just because he's in the middle doesn't mean he'll go there. He might just zip down to either side whenever he wants. Hmm. It's a it's and I mean, if you want to compare them to my videos, Furl doesn't really have an incentive to actually move forward he both of these players want to win this game which means that you don't play you don't you don't play a fun game as such you play one that you win yeah and if you want to win the game there are certain strategies that you rather like apply as soon as possible oh nice thank you Furl. he turned on the grid i love him now <laughs> That's excellent. Now I can finally <laughs> see what's going on properly. <laughs> but I mean, it's 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 exciting to see like these are the top two teams in Goonball. Well, at least they've proven it that uh, that that's the case for this uh, season. And so it's it's all just for um, uh, for glory. Ooh, ooh! Come yeah. on, no, no! Oh, he pushed him the wrong way. Yeah. Inevitable long shot. Why? Yep. Yes. Thank you, Furl. The Rogan's face. <laughs> Why? Unless Seven already did something. Maybe he did. I'm not he, sure. He might have stood up, but even let's, so, you could get him next time. Yeah. Let Let's, for inevitable long shot's sake, say that uh, his number seven, Maddox, had already moved. Yeah. And don't forget, children, don't try and do Ooh. this at home. Remember, Ooh. these are well, doing the, like a 2 1 grind mm -hmm. is definitely in the lizard's man's favor because they can score pretty much at will with the skinks. Yeah. Because there's no player on the orc team that can even remotely keep up with them. No. Um, unfortunately, Inevitable Longshot doesn't have, as far as I can see, any dodge. Which is, I mean, you don't expect that much dodge on an orc team, but against these guys, I mean, I I like dodge. If if you get a double, get a dodge on at least a blitzer or someone that can move, because if he had some dodge, he he would have at least been able to dodge an orc away and hopefully at least try and uh, like. Uh, be, be be close enough to the skinks that he uh, Furl would have to pull pull back a few uh, a few sauruses to guard them. Yeah. Because right now all his all of Furl's uh, sauruses can just beat the shit out of the orcs. Yeah. 
I mean, ine inevitable. But Longshot does have his uh, number six Mordred. Uh, his agility increased Blitzer with dive diving tackle. Excuse me. In in the back, which is probably because if the Skinks decide to move up, he'll he'll have someone back there. Yeah. I do think he's too far back though. Uh, yes, the skinks are fast, but they're only they've, they've got eight movement compared to his blitzer's six, and they can't move through players. They've got exactly. to move around, so they're only going to be three or four spaces into his half. Yeah, if, when they do make a break for it. Ooh, that's oh well, you're going to punch him. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I was just going to say wrong square for, uh, wrong square for, uh, because you don't want to put a guy there if uh, inevitable long shot would be able to punch the blister man back. But that's not an issue because Feral cleared yep. it out. Um, we were talking about his number six being really far back. I do think that that's uh, not uh, optimal, uh, just because the lizard man have so much strength on the line the orcs need every man down there that they can have and I do think that the orcs are actually at this point better to clear say that everyone was on the line guarding and the skinks would slip through there wouldn't be that many there wouldn't be any sauruses that would follow up follow up so yeah. the only ones that would follow would be other skinks um, and I think that the orcs would have a better chance, if that happened, to actually uh, block a guy free out of tackle zones, like one of their own orcs, that could then run back and actually uh, uh, blitz one of the skinks. And also in this case, I think it's for inevitable long shots favor to get the lizards, men, uh, the lizards to score early. Because I think I'm guessing both of them want to do a 2-1 grind. I mean, and Inevitable Longshot probably wants to kill the Skinks as soon as possible. Uh, because without the Skinks, Furl can't do shit, really. At least when it comes to touchdowns. Uh, so he, he... But let's say both of them want to go for a 2-1 grind, which wouldn't be uh, that surprising. Then, getting the Lizards to score quickly is vital. Because he, in a long shot, needs at least three turns, probably four, to actually score a touchdown in this drive. And then he can just cage up or whatever and try and do a one turn, um, I mean a, a one half touchdown next round. And that way he'd win. Um, yeah, that's all I had to say about that. Oh! But then again, um, Got a skin. yeah, and it does seem like we do have a few orcs that haven't broken through, but are on their way to threatening the uh, the skink number twelve, which I don't have a roster of at the moment, but I will soon. That would be Miss Titan. Side step, diving tackle. Mm -hmm. Gonna go where he wants when you push him. Fucking asshole. I hate her. Oh, dodge. I do like Taddy Bojangles, though. Number well, 10. You because would. that that's a sweet name. I wish I had a player called Taddy Bojangles. Yeah, well, you got Vince. Yeah. Why are you, why are you, why are you making this worse? <laughs> when life gives you lemons, <laughs> make Vincents. Mm -hmm. Or a funny mm -hmm. lemon face. <laughs> Ooh, let's get a player called Lemon Face. Yeah, okay. Good. We'll do that uh, soon enough. Okay, let's... Um, what do you think about leaving the skink back there uh, on his or her own? I mean, uh, it's the sort of, uh, it's listed men's turn, so it's not really... It's worked out so far, but would you would you keep would you keep the ball? This far back uh, on he, the fourth turn. He's when, when w go on. He's far enough back that he's safe. 
mm-hmm. I'm getting punched. And yeah, here we go. Yep. Yeah. Now he's now it, pretty safe, really. It, if if you were playing uh, Lizard Man and you were going for the uh, two one, um, two one win, and you you started uh, you started receiving, uh, when would you move up? Like, on what turn would you try and move the ball forward? Would you try and get it forward quickly, since you've got so much move, and then just hang out in the uh, opposing team's half, or would you like keep it down like Furl's been doing right now? Normally, I try and score as quick as possible, but that's just me. But mm-hmm. he's got such a big strength advantage that he can probably. It's probably best that he leaves it as long as possible. Yeah. Get his half um, touchdown now. Next half, let the orcs score quickly because they've got to score again and then try and turn the drive against the lizards mm. rather than hang around. Let's see what's going on here. It, it, it looks like the orcs seem to... Uh, I mean, here we see, like, again, the the reason... I feel like Furl is playing a pretty good game here. But as we can see, as soon as he moves for the cage... And commits like Sauruses to cage. The orcs get a strength advantage on what's left. Yes. Yeah. Which good for the orcs, but I mean it's a it's a dilemma whenever you want to cage. Like even if you've got that strength advantage, f- to have an effective cage, would, <laughs> which this really is. I mean it's almost every side of it is strength four, except for. Well, in this case, the top right half, which isn't really that bad either. And there's but, the crooks who go there. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, as, so- as soon as you move for the cage, you you uh, it means the rest of you guys are going to get badly punched. Yeah, those are three Saurus that mm. aren't doing anything, and that leaves all the Black Orcs free. Yeah. And for those following at home, uh, the numbers of the Black Orcs would be 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, I know it's kind of hard to tell at times, but that's, uh, that's, the, that's the Black Orcs. So he... They seem to be... like Unfortunately, most of his strength is on the, uh, on the top side uh, yeah. from looking at this screen. Uh, both 1 and 2 are there, and 11, uh, which is the Block Dauntless guy, so he can always punch. Uh, so there's not that much to do right now for uh, for an average long shot. Right here, I would, I would, if I was the orc player, I would probably, and this is my elf uh, upbringing talking. I would try and move my guys back if possible, like one square or two, so that Furl would had have to blitz and uh, try and break through that way. Because even though the Skinks have uh, have Stunty, so, I mean, they they can pretty easily, they don't care about tackle zones, but they still need to roll that dodge roll. Yep, and even with dodge, uh, three agility is going to fail sometime. Yeah, because it's a three plus roll. And the more tackle zones you can force the Skinks to go through, the better. Because they're they're decent at dodging, but they're not good. They're actually just as good at dodging as, like, my uh, Chaos Warriors. Yeah. Except you, you kind of want to do it a bit more often. And also, I mean, at this point, I think uh, if we if we look at the um, the rerolls, uh, and much ha- hasn't happened much really. Uh, there hasn't been any big upsets or bad rolls, which is good for Furl, uh, but it's kind of shit for Inevitable Longshot, because he wants to play uh, Don't Fuck Up. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, getting bad rolls is a good way of fucking up. Uh, but, I mean, as long as... Right now, the way it looks, if if Furl doesn't start rolling badly, he's 
I don't see how inevitable long shot is going to stop him. No, the lizards have got this in the bag, firing. Yeah. Some crazy rolls. And I mean, he does have his number six, uh, Mordred, the the agility increased blitzer back there, but he hasn't done anything the whole, the whole, uh, the whole round so far, yeah. the whole half so far. He's just, he's pretty much been playing with one player down from the start. And then he had a guy get knocked out as well. So I mean, he's undermanned. He needs to he needs to commit his guys. And if if not stop stop the touchdown, which might not be possible, at least try and hurt the uh, lizard men. Yeah, at, at this point, uh, the skink could make it. I'm pretty yeah. sure. And. There's not very many places he can stand to be in the way that Asaurus can't punch him yeah. very easily from. And, I mean, he's 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 down a few players this drive, but the orcs are actually... There are 13 of them, if if I, I can still count, which is doubtful, but I've, I've tried twice, and I, I make it to 13, so... Come on, foul a bit. And I'm I'm not a guy... That usually fouls, but number five in the back is standing next to a a stun skink, or well, at least a down skink. Yeah. Foul that asshole. If if Earl doesn't have any skinks, he can't do anything. If if number five was any player other than the frenzy tackle mighty blow guy, he yeah. yeah. Uh, but but I mean, move like, move number ten, the the yeah. active player right now. You could move him down. Foul the skink. Make Feral pay for, uh, for for trying to score on you. I mean, there are, there's a uh, there's a certain. I mean, there's uh, it's something you don't really talk that much about. But I find when I play that you need to play to you need to maintain a certain threat level. Yeah. I mean, even if I have no plan to foul or hurt the other team, which I usually don't because I just want to score because the more touchdowns you do... Uh, oh, that's a shame. That's also a shame. Uh, it, w it would have been nice with a, with a pow or a, or a defender stumble there. That would have been fun. It would have uh, made the game more interesting. Anyways, <laughs> even if I don't have any intention of really hurting the other team, I want the other team to think that I might be vengeful yeah so that they actually need to t it, he, they need to take into account do i need to move this say skink to a safer place yeah it's like leaving a guy next to a guy who's laying down on the sidelines and it's like he can't get him up because i'll probably shove him out yeah Ooh, and double skulls ah oh, and then a defender stumble that's a shame because that too would oh pinched nerve in this next game for Maddox. Oh, that's that's not good. That's a block nope. tackle, uh, yep. Blitzer. Yep. He, uh, I know, inevitable long shot really wanted him in the game. Yep. And now Skink's got free run, really. Yeah. It's not really much. Uh, it's it's more a question of when Furl wants to to score. At this point, I I mean I'd be surprised if he scored now, because yeah. it it doesn't really make sense. And no, he's uh, he seems to be rebuilding his uh, his cage further up the field. Yeah, he's got yeah a major strength advantage. There's only two guys. Against his three Saurus covering the ball, mm -hmm. it's, he can hold this out for another turn. That's what happens when a pro crosses an amateur. Yes, splodge. And then Saurus, they're, they're fast. Yeah, they are. I mean, <laughs> for all Sauruses could actually outrun. Most of uh, the orc team, if, yeah. if they wanted to. Everyone but the blitzers. Yeah, this is 
a second division that prohibited spell casting from off the pitch. Oh, yes. Do some foul. This is when you got to do some fouling. Yeah, because you need you really need to uh, try and get as much damage as possible in, both for the fact that you actually want to hurt the other team to get them off, but also so that. Yeah, well, the terror thing we talked about earlier. Yeah. Let's see what uh, Teofrol is going to do. Oh, so I was really confused just now because there's only one uh, skinky cheerleader. Yeah. And because I don't normally see them from this sort of angle, I was really confused and thought it was some sort of worm in a sleeping bag wriggling around on the floor. <laughs> but no, it's just a really bad cake. <laughs> Thanks, Cyanide. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, uh, it's it's the ah. Oh, I, the, cyanide. They're kind of they're kind of like the game studio equivalent of a pug. They're kind of retarded but I, cuddly and cute. I find I find that really insulting because you find a more retarded dog. I don't know. I, I what about a pug called the cross? <laughs> that that yes fine, cyanide is like a pug. <laughs> uh, uh, we should we should stop making dog and <laughs> <laughs> dog analogies. It's yes. a dog analogy for sports. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, what's going on here? Come on, let's let's. I want I want to I want to see some blood. There's not going to be any blood. Well, I'm severely disappointed when the black orcs if we don't see any blood. The, the thing is that one of them's next to the croxagore. Yeah. And all the when other it, saurus are disengaged. And the skink's really hard to get to because yeah. um, he's moved him to, to relative safety. The the only one doing... doing uh, I mean... And Evan for long shot has his number five, which is the tackle mighty blow, blitzer, and he manages to punch uh, punch Ginks every round, and he can't get nothing done, which is really sad. He's in the he's in the bottom bottom left, and he's got not even a he's got a down skink next to him. Yeah, it's, I, I feel really bad for him because you know they're gonna bully him when they when, uh, during halftime. Couldn't even beat up the guy who looks like a woman in a sleeping bag. Ooh. Um, don't stop there. Why? Okay. It's so he doesn't get punched. Well, yes, but if you if you don't want the guy punched, don't have him in. It's so that he's hoping that Furl will just go for the score instead of risking a blitz. But it's going to be like it's it's a two die block blitz at the, at the minimum. I I see no reason to not go for the blitz here. I mean, Froll even went with his loner, yeah. uh, star player, to do it, which should tell you something. Hold still and then pow, right in the face. Okay. <laughs> yeah, where, where where did these guys go? Oh. Yeah, he's. Uh, yeah, he's going for the full eight turns. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it, ma it makes sense. I mean, it's it's one of those things. It yes, it makes uh, it might make the game a bit duller from a perspective standpoint. But I'm I'm not actually sure I agree with that because this is this is good uh, this is good offense right yeah, here. Yeah, and it means next half um, the orcs have got to try something special. Yeah, and I mean the the reason he's even doing this. Is because the orcs haven't managed to hurt the lizards. Uh, yeah. If if the orcs had at least KO'd a few guys, maybe got a casualty, fouled every other turn the skinks, he wouldn't be stalling like this because he he wouldn't be able to to really afford it. He'd want to. Well, I'm I'm not going to talk for Furl because he he might actually. Well, exactly, Furl. Well, shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's that's no fun. Don't roll double skulls and then re-roll and get a pal. No, you got it, because otherwise the crooks is never getting up. 
That's true. I, I just want to see someone... I just want to see Furl fa fa fail a roll. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, Thank you. <laughs> yes. Let's see what... Let's see what happened. Oh, and, nothing. And that means we've got a Black Hawk standing yes. right there next to a skink. Yeah. And if that Black Orc can't do anything, uh, he should uh, he should then... I think number five can reach that skink if the Black Orc... Yes, yes. If the Black Orc can't knock him out, he can still, he can still hurt him. Yeah. He's still got another chance. Yeah. So, Inevitable Longshot really needs to put the hurt in, like, this last... last well, second to last turn he's got just to uh, just to get something out of it. Yeah. If you manage to hurt even Yesterday, like I one, um, he's going to have a much Super better time uh, in the next half because he, he well, kill some people already. Yeah. Like he's got plenty of skinks to replace, so taking one out's not a big deal, but it'd be something. Yeah. And then the Saurus has got dodge. Now why did you... No! Go for the skinks! Well, actually, as you said, Ethan, he does have six skinks. So actually, taking one out wouldn't really... Uh, matter too much. But still... Um, no, but ten needs to stick the boot in on that Saurus. Yes. Yes, he get does. A, get a big foul. I mean, there's no reason for him not to foul. Do it already. Just I mean, even if he gets knocked out, he he should have he should have enough players for uh, for the second half. Yeah, and that means um, he's down the Saurus, which means an extra skin. Well, that was the wrong one, but oh, that's, uh, did you, uh, in case people missed it, he uh, inevitable long shot did a foul. He rolled a double. So the referee caught him. Uh, he used his bribe that he had, and the bribe failed. Yeah. <laughs> Which, oh, I feel so bad for him, especially after I've, I've I've gone on for like the whole first half about how he needs to foul more. And w once he does it, it's because <laughs> he did the wrong foul. He should have done the one with the the three, the three orcs, and not with the agility four player. He's now gone. Yeah. It's true. Okay. Um. Well, this is. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I was, like, why would he do? He's gonna Still try and get as much punching in. Yeah. And then maybe do a pass to get a point. Yeah. Would you? Uh... Ooh. Well, he's only got Th that matters. Yeah. Nothing. I'm actually surprised that Forel has his skinks this far forward. I guess maybe. Well, actually, no, I'm not. He. Well, let me. I need. Uh, look, uh, look at that strength, though, in front of it. Yeah. Just seven Saurus and a Croxagot. There's not... Well, he could... If, if you make some convoluted box, you can actually clear those guys out and get to the skink. But that's not going to work <laughs> if you only roll pushes. Instead of doing the one-turn touchdown chainfish, you just do it so you can get and punch a tiny man. Yeah. Who doesn't want to punch a tiny man? Terrorists. Date. <laughs> Ooh, tackle. Yeah, here we go. He sent him down well, for a with well they've got nine armor. They don't. Yeah. They don't go down. No. They're just faster chaos warriors that can't do much if someone's standing next to them. Oh. What's going on here? Uh, number 9 and number 11, uh, well, number 11 is the block dauntless guy, so that's why he's, uh, probably gonna blitz. No? Yeah. Yes? No. no. Well, who? 
Make up your mind already. Number nine crafter is just line work. He can't do. He can't do nothing. No, doesn't even have a skill. Stop using him. Yes. Go. Come on. Number eleven. Yeah. Yeah, that one. Go. Look over there. And you want to? Let's see. Number four is fan trick. Block diving tackle might mighty blow. And number six is guard block. That's actually kind. Oh. Okay. Going for the star player. That kind of makes sense, actually. Um, it's his only guard, I think. No, he uh, numbers. Uh, oh yeah, he's got a Saurus with guards. So, but yeah, number that six. Means he's, got, he's got two guard mm. compared to the one guard right now. Yeah. So the orcs have actually been outguarded, which I yep. don't think they expected. No. Um, he says in this little thing that that was one of his main things he was going to try and do was try and leverage his guard. Oh, that's just not fair! Oh. Well, sometimes. Look at him, look at this one idiot. Fucking... Burn in a sleeping bag. <laughs> okay, well... Oh, well, the only... Uh, apparently the... I must have... Uh, is Cyanide uh -huh. lying to us, or did we? Uh, did he just have one guy? He only had one guy out because Cyanide. Yeah, because I think he's got two. He should have two booted for uh, for fouling. Yeah. Because the bribe didn't work, and I'm unsure if he's got more than one bribe. And uh, speaking of. Uh, Inducements, uh, since we're setting up for the second half, we might as well go over some. Uh, Furl has, uh, he does have some uh, blood of babes, which uh, allow me to, to read from his text, because it's going to be so exciting. Uh, a bribe would help me press a player advantage, but I already have extra skinks for fouling. Two blood of babes would help me recover from bad luck on armor rolls. I don't really need a fifth reroll, so I'm... I'm going with the babes, even though I have many players with armor value 9. I see it as a very important I keep up my strength advantage. Which um, I would agree with. Yep. It's, uh, it's a sound tactic. Um, and he... Let's see what, what predictions did Furl make for the start of the game. Um, uh, my opponent is going to be getting 500k in inducements. I wonder if I will see a halfling chef or morgue. I would think that Morg would be the best well, choice. He would. Ooh. <laughs> Could have done with that a few turns ago. Oh. Hey, Badly that's... hurt. That means he's back. Who's? Let's see. Who's the rat? A block tackle Saurus. So. Uh, it, it's. I mean, it's great that he's. Uh, he's been knocked out. That's, that means uh, he's down to regular lizard man strength. Yeah. That's good. That's good news for an average long shot. And since he's, uh, let's see, how many players does he have? He's got so He's got nine. Is that correct? I think so. I think he's singing a Which is odd. Maybe I'm missing one. I can't count properly. But I, th I think an average long shot is still down on the on the man's. So he's to speak. got. He's got thirteen. And a guy's out with a bad back, and two guys have been ejected. Yeah, so he should be so down to yeah, ten. He should be down to ten. So, and I can see nine on the pitch. So someone's hiding somewhere, probably, unless we missed some. Oh, never mind. Found him. Top right. He's got ten players. Oh, and a uh, and a stun. That's that's nice. He's actually making some headway now. Yeah. And <laughs> uh, I haven't seen the, the lizards this knocked down in a long while. Let's just hope he manages to cover the ball well enough uh, so that the uh, the skinks can't capitalize. Because right now they can actually, I think they can reach it. Yeah. Let's see, that's a sog. Number 12. And that's the thrower. Pause shore and block, fan, kick off, return. Okay. Oh! Alive, I can see the um, was that a foul that actually that worked? Yeah. Damn. 
<laughs> it only took him three, <laughs> three tries. And that was one of the Dodge Sauruses too. So now he nice. can his tap guys to the yeah. sticks. So we we, we might actually have a game here in the second half. That's excellent. Uh, I'm 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 always gonna gonna share for the the underdog, and I mean at this point, inevitable long, uh, long shot. <laughs> it's really the underdog. Uh, but then maybe maybe Furl will go on like a really bad bad luck roll. Uh, String and I'll have to share for him instead. We'll see what happens. But so you've got some nice herding of the black orcs just <laughs> scooping them up. Yeah, that's true. How how would you go go about this though with the uh, with the lizard man? Would you move your skinks forward to try and pressure the the orcs to moving the ball, or would you just keep them back so that? Uh, the orcs know that they can't move forward without having at least some skinks on them. I think I'd keep them back. Because if you rush them forwards, because it's difficult to get Saurus through a line if there's not a big gap, yeah. they're just going to be there unsupported in enemy territory and it's not good. And they're not going to be great at doing yeah. an interception anyway. Yeah, and I mean, if, if you keep them back, th there's three of them. So if the orcs run through, they, the three of them, can still get a strength four blitz. Yeah. Uh, depending on, of course, how inevitable longshot has his cage, that might actually be enough to knock the ball or get close to the ball. But that also means that um, let's see how many. Frollo only he's only got six sauruses right now. Well, six uh, strength four or above guys. So he's still got the Crocs. Yeah. But the Crocs has been uh, knocked down yeah. on his ass. Yeah, he's down right now. Yeah. So the Orcs are actually, for, for uh, the first time in a long while, they do have the strength advantage. Yeah, they're uh, on relatively even footing right now. Yeah, so it's it's going to be really interesting to see what happens here. If Inevitable Longshot is going to keep putting pressure on the sources, or if he's going to try and go for for a quick touchdown and then hopefully use um, use the rest of the turn to try and counter um, yeah. the listenman's attack I personally would probably I would press my advantage here I'd, I'd try and kick the lizard some more if I could because I mean this is the final so even if he scores late and ties there there's going to be uh, an extra, um, an extra half. Well, there should be, depending on how the league set up. But I think that's uh, they're probably going to go into overtime if this actually ties. I think this is this is also one of like the when you get one of the turns the orcs just had, they hurt a guy really badly. For allowed to use his uh, apothecary, and then they KO'd another guy. W once you get that, where you knock out two guys in one turn, the turn after that is just—it's always going to be disappointing because you usually don't knock anyone out. Yeah. And you're so set on just hurting people. <laughs> it's you, you, you can really see the the orcs just being a strong to all. Oh. oh. Yeah. Num number two is pretty free. Now, see, I told you, he doesn't get up once he's down. <laughs> he's lazy. Let's see. The number two Sauros actually does have dodge. I don't think Furl is going to dodge with him. No, but he can shove yeah. that poor little line knock away and then just run over and start to pressure yeah. the thrower. But I do think it's good of the orcs to move one of the black orcs next to one of the skinks. Yeah, try and consolidate their strength. Yeah. Threatening. Because that means that uh, the uh, skinks are... Either Furl needs to punch the black orc or the skinks need to run away. Yeah. Ooh, this is interesting. Is he gonna... No, okay, maybe he... He wants it, to save it, the skink first. It would have. I would have loved to see Furl go up there, though. And yeah, yep. 
Here we go. And uh, and and blitz the orc. That would be that would be. Uh, that's a good gamble. Let's see if he he could actually dodge out. Or, is he going to dodge out all the skinks to get the strength advantage? Yeah, it seems that yep. way. Yep. Yeah, and this is why you want to take out the third skink because yep. when there's two, they can only get even strength. Yeah. At best. Oh, this, that, that's a nice play. Let's see. Let's see how it plays out. Oh. Yep. Ah, oh, that's bad news for an average long shot. Oh. I, I wouldn't, because it's a nice bonus. Yeah, I wouldn't either have, uh, have grabbed that. But then again, well, actually. I would have saved the reroll for running onto it on purpose. Well, he only had, I think he only had one more movement. Left uh, with the uh, with the skink. So had the ball actually scattered somewhere else, worst case scenario, uh, it the ball would be in a uh, one tackle zone and that tackle zone belonging to skink, yeah. and the orcs could easily have blocked uh, blocked the skink to pick up the ball. So I don't know, but it's it's definitely um I would have thought longer about it. But then again, this has been edited by for a little bit, so we might be missing some uh, some minutes somewhere. So I haven't actually been watching the clock very much. Yeah, but here we are, basically the same situation as last time. Yeah. The orcs, they're doing okay for punching. Mm. Yep. But right now, there's a skink. Yeah. Who can easily escape right now? Yeah, like he if needs. He, if he if he doesn't get him now, he can't catch up to that skin. No, he needs to. He needs to move number eight. Uh, probably because he, uh, number eight's uh, blitzer and has more move, and he can one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he can, he can get to that skink and at least blitz him down, and then move uh, uh, number one, the black orc, up uh, to put some cover on the ball, assuming he. Uh, Ah, that also works. Um, it's kind of exciting. There's a lot to watch, and I keep missing the uh, the chat window, which is like it's actually kind of odd to watch someone else's chat window. Regardless, it's you feel like a peeping tom. It's like you're in on someone else's conversation. What sort of rude things do you say? In your blood bowl chats. Well, I. That's between me and the people who challenge me. Well, okay. okay. But it's usually very rude. Yeah, yep. I, I bet. Oh, that's a shame. Well. Oh, that's still a shame. He, he can shove him. Yeah. Let's see, uh, number one. Oh, that's just a regular. That's it's, a shame. Yeah, he, he's still he, got to do two. Yeah, he no, he really needs to. He needs to put someone to the to way. the left of him. Yeah, because yeah. that's like just he's, two he's, two he's dodges gotta make, out. Yeah, two dodges. That's not impossible for a skink with dodge and a reroll. No. Nope. And then that man fell down. Who is that? Which skink is that? Not that it matters because they're all. That's number eight. That's Snooky. Catching sure feet. Yeah, he can. He can go for it. Yep. Oh, the crux is up, and he's gonna. Yeah, this is some mayhem now. I'm. I'm trying to not say anything because I want to see what happens. It's really, it's really intense. Now you know how I feel when it's. You're about to do a ridiculous pass to a stupid goat, <laughs> and then it goes wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, this is what I was talking about. He's going to kill this guy and then run away. Oh. Oh, he's, he's just going to smash him and then run away. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, now the orcs are freaking stuck. Like really bad. <laughs> I can't. Well, actually, no. Um, Someone's gonna get punched. 
the orcs number 11 can easily punch the number 10 skink, which could then push an orc if he wanted to. But I'm guessing the skinks are going to run away first. Yeah. Because that's what I would do. I would, uh, well, start by, with number 8 and just get the hell out of dodge. Run as far up as you can. And then I would probably try and dodge away with the skinks as well. Because he does have six, and uh, the orcs won't catch him in the next round. And if he can get more, uh, if he can get more skinks further up, that would be good for him. Yep, just, yep. just run the fuck away. And the orcs can't catch him if he goes yeah. over there. Yeah. Yeah, he's just yeah. done some square coming. And he's got short feet, so he's fine on the go for it. Yep. And, yeah, I would have I, I would have moved the as many skinks as possible up. I mean, at this point, it's... Yeah, that makes sense. Um, that's actually a tricky one. How many reroles does he have? Mm. He's, he's still got two. Yeah, I, I mean, I I probably would have done the same thing, actually, because it doesn't... Uh, more skinks are better. Yeah. Because number 12 just means uh, if the orcs don't want to dodge, it's he's ta uh, that skink alone has taken... Ha has made it one step further away for the for the orcs to get to... get to the upper skink. Yeah. Had he had got number ten out, it would have been it would have been even more. This is this is uh, this is actually the part where when this happens, you do feel I uh, as, as the player who's who's uh, who's losing the game, you do feel gutted because you're you're like ah, oh, I've got four turns left. This is my drive, and it's yeah. all gone wrong. Oh. And then, and then it'll fall down. Mm. And you're like, and and you know that if if the other player doesn't score this turn, I'm going to need to be really lucky to to tie it. Uh, and I doubt I uh, I wouldn't score here. I would just punch the orcs. Yep, here we go. Oh, that's not. I, I, I didn't like. I don't like that push because that means uh, number ten can't actually uh, get out. Oh, and a badly hurt. And that's the that's the that's the guy that's, that's the block. Yeah. Blog tackle, yeah. mighty blow guy, that got not uh, that got uh, badly, badly hurt yeah. in the first half as well. Ooh, double skulls. Ah. This player has opened the slapping box and gives rather generously. You think you'll be able to get up after that blow? Too? Yep. Oh. Yep. The skink can escape relatively easily now, or he oh. can do it the hard way. Yeah, had uh, Feral not pushed the orc that way, he could have he could have escaped more easily. That's I would I would have scored then, but no, I I don't know why he did that. Okay, <laughs> and so Feral's back to full strength and. All the orcs are dead still. Inevitable long shot is four down, so he's gonna he's gonna play with nine orcs. Um, yeah, it's um. Would you say that inevitable long shots orc strategy has worked for him so far in this game? Yeah. <laughs> because to to be fair, I I don't really think he he hasn't played. Badly, it's just that Feral has played a better game, and 
Um, he he he's, missed. He's, he missed he's the skinks. His, yeah, he's leveraged his advantages more than the orcs. Yeah, he he's got the strength and he's used it. Yeah, I mean, I, so far the only the only big like tactical mess I've seen in Everton Longshot Two would be that he didn't see the skinks coming through and blitzing him. Yeah. And to be fair, th I, that would be kind of hard to spot because it didn't it didn't really look that way. I think we. Uh, we were all kind of surprised when it happened. Yeah, uh, it's, it's it's the sort of thing where if you don't play against tiny fast players a lot, yeah, you won't see it because you'd never see um, an elf do that. An elf wouldn't run through there. No, you wouldn't see um, any orcs go through there. You wouldn't see any goats. No, and but I mean the skink's just right for it. I'm, I'm, and he has been a bit unlucky with his his fouling. He he got yeah that, he, that he got two guys caught by the referee with bribes, which is when when you develop a tactic for a game like this, and you're like, I oh, I've got a bribe, I'm going to foul some people. You don't really expect that to happen. On, when on one guy foul. gets sent off, and your bribe fails, you're like, well. The next one will be safe. And yeah. Then it, and then it isn't because blood ball. Yeah. So I mean, he he hasn't played badly in, in any way, really. It's I I can still see why he made it to to the finals. It's it's a well put together orc team. It's just that, well, it's not as well put together as the <laughs> lizard man team he's facing. Yeah. And. Well, I, I, it would be nice to see him actually. Uh, it would be nice to see him score because I haven't really understood what his offensive strategy is. Yeah, it's sort of been shut down before it could get going. Yeah, I mean, we, the we, basic we, punchy bit. Like, I, I don't know who he would pass to. None yeah. of his orcs seem particularly catcher esque. Well, he would. I'm. I'm guessing he would have passed to his uh, agility increased player, but that guy is out in the casualty box right now. Yeah. Uh, but it would be. Uh, I mean, we did see a proper orc offense uh, for the first two turns of the second half, and that actually that worked well. It did work well until he. Uh, didn't guard his uh, his uh, thrower well enough, but I mean that's also that's a risk you're always going to have to take. And I I do feel that both teams have kind of played their offensive strategies in the same way in that they've got one guy further back that's not that hasn't been guarded by the rest of the team. the The protection of the ball carrier has been more like you guys are too far away to get to my ball carrier, so I'm just going to leave him here. Yeah. And you can't do anything about it. Good job. His nose got in the way. Which isn't... Um, might not be the best strategy when playing against skinks. Yeah, when when the other team's slow, yeah. that's good. And especially when the guy who's unprotected has got dodge. Mm -hmm. um, but when the other guy is really fast, yeah. Then you've got to hang back a little bit further than you'd like, especially because you're a reasonably slow team. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised that we haven't seen a single skink get hurt so far. Yeah. Uh, yeah. but then, then again, they they haven't they haven't had much threatening them, but still, yeah. it's uh, it's odd because they are kind of crunchy. Yeah. And especially because they don't have skills. Only two have got... Oh, well, mm -hmm. three, because the yeah. sure feet guy. But that means three of them don't have anything. Yeah, and catch sure feet doesn't do anything when it comes to yeah. blocking. And neither does sidestep or diving tackle. They might as well have nothing yeah. for using those skills.
Let's see. It's not much going on right now. Yeah. I'm not. And I, here's here's the part that that's kind of bothering me a bit. Uh, it seems like the orcs don't. Well, I mean, there. I understand why. You don't you don't want to have like. A clear strategy of where you're going. I mean, there it makes sense to not show the other team exactly what you want to do. But right now, I don't see them doing anything. Like, there's no. Oh, okay. Oh, Dauntless failed. Oh, he rerolled it. Anyway. Okay. Oh, I, oh, I see now. Well, that was actually kind of, that was well played. It, yeah, it's good. Um, unfortunately, yeah. he's, uh, it's not. He's gonna get placed. Yeah. Uh, by probably number six. Yep. Um, Guard block. So even if he doesn't. Yeah. Number eleven's in trouble. Yeah. If, if uh, but then again, he the orcs had to do something. I mean, he yeah. needs to. He needs to move up. He needs to do the risky place right now because, at least if he, <laughs> and this is also the case at least for me. Like, a two nil loss is a whole lot worse than a two one loss. Because a two one loss. Just if if you're just looking at the results afterwards, because that's what most people are going to do, they're not going to watch like a one hour and sixteen minute video of two idiots talking over it. Uh, they're just going to see two one loss, and that's just the regular two one grind. Uh, and that, at least for me, it feels so so much better than not getting any touchdowns. Oh, that see. Unfortunately, he does have is a reroll. He, yeah, is he going to use his? Oh, that's oh. the last one. And yeah, he got smashed. Oh, that's a shame. But yeah, this is what I was saying. Because he's down, he had to do something crazy, and he yeah. can't really cage up because the only guys strong enough to withstand yeah. the Saurus are slow and yeah. tied up. But I mean, if 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 Furl had been out of rerolls, that would have worked out great. He he blitzed two dice, got double skulls. And uh, inevitable long shot could have just uh, run down the pitch and uh, scored in like two turns from that. Yep. So I mean, yep. it it was actually kind of close. Unfortunately, uh, rerolls tend to fuck shit up, or rather, unfuck shit up. Oh, nice. Yes, that's that's <laughs> yeah. Heart. Oh, and he's stunned as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but he still managed to get he's, two, he's, two yeah. lizards on the... Then again, he... For all, I mean, sorry. Inevitable long shot. Have two guys on the lizards. So yeah. if they can knock some guys free... They... This, this they could happen. This could happen. And he does have rerolls left. And I think one of those uh, line orcs is the dauntless one. Yes, number eleven. So he can probably dauntless the uh, his number six Snickers. And then uh, hopefully blitz seven. Yeah, grab the ball and waddle on to fall down at the end zone. Mm. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Tie, mm -hmm. tie up. The Saurus they can't go anywhere. The thrower needs to go somewhere. Yeah. Because otherwise those skinks are just gonna get in there and get in the way. It'd be horrid. Yeah. But I'm. I let's see if he. I I would probably blitz with yeah with twelve. Okay. Or I mean, he he could blitz with with nine, run and pick up the ball, but I don't see. This isn't. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, this isn't the way I would have done it. No, but it, let's see if it works out. 
for him. That face job is a lot cheaper than a plastic surgeon. Okay. Then, so I'm guessing so is he blitzing with number nine then and yeah. picking up the ball as well? Yeah. Or oh he's got eight knocked down. Maybe he's uh he's gonna pick up the with him maybe. Oh that's a good lineman. Yeah, that's a shame. Big Still not totally gone. No, he can. Uh, well, it's, he's only got one turn left. I don't. I don't think he can make it. But he can get some token. Yeah, and if Furl wants to be a jerk, he's going to move up his skinks right now. Because the skinks can... can oh, he's, just gonna, he's just going to harass this poor black hole. Ah, oh, why would you? That's that's so mean. Let's see if he moves... Uh, let's see if he moves up his skink. Yeah. Oh, no, not like that. Actually, no. Oh. Well... You need to put the other skink just underneath the black orc and then blitz him out because <laughs> because that's why. Let's see if really like that yeah yep. and then the crazy oh, stunt you throw. Well, he doesn't have to do it this turn. He can just uh, he can just make sure that everyone's knocked down and hope that uh, the orcs. Won't be able to knock the skink down, or rather, knock yeah. the skink out. They've just got to. Well, now they've got to get the ball free and pick it up, and they've only got one guy over there Yesterday with full movement, and he's a line up, mm -hmm. and he's far away, relatively. Yeah. There's a lot of meat in between him and the ball. <laughs> now this is more of a question of who who is he gonna blitz the skink with? Because two nil, fine. Uh, 3-0, not okay. Yeah, well, that does make sense. I I would have blitzed. Uh, I mean, blocked the skink. And now he's, he's safe. To Hooray! The well, un unless the skink blocks him, and then... Uh, That's nice. Let's yep. let's see if he does a turn sixteen foul. In this case it would be kind of hilarious. Especially if he gets evicted. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ooh. There we go. Come on. Let's see if Furl wants to move. Yeah, that. Now there's Boy. one that won't be coming back in a hurry. Oh, and he actually did. He. No, he didn't. Oh, <laughs> damn. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's. <laughs> it's not gonna help him much. No, now he can. He can get one point. <laughs> by doing the worst pass of all time. But he didn't. Just gonna shove a baby. Shameful. Does he not want any start player points? <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, that guy doesn't have frenzy. Okay. Yep. And now does he have any more sources? He's got he doesn't have any free actually. No. He does have a skink. Have a nice sleep. 
he's got an escape plan down that can get up too. Yeah, but apparently he's not. Oh wait! Yeah, he, oh he's, yeah, he's, that makes yeah, sense. He's gonna get this guy, and then number two's gonna do some punching, and then nine will get the ball, throw it to eight, and then eight yeah. will score. So let's see. Let's see how this. Uh... Yeah, that makes sense. Let's see how the splits works. Okay. Okay. I like this turn. I like these turn 16 plays. Oh, ooh. Uh, lucky and unlucky at the same time. That's actually. That's pretty. That's actually as close as could be. It's a good thing the <laughs> the uh, Saurus didn't pick it up. Yep. Here we go. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, let's see where he where he fails. Oh, well, pick up. Yeah. I like it. I like it when the uh, when it's actually the pass that fails. Well, it's the most exciting part. Yeah. Okay, so two nil to Furl. That makes him the winner of the Goon Bowl Finals. And um, everyone leveled up. <laughs> fight! Awful game. Shit awful. game. Ne never play again. Oh, that guy got MVP. <laughs> he sucks. Ah, oh, but Maddock owns. Yeah, he's Love cool. Him.